Hello everyone. This video is going to provide you with a step-by-step -step process on how to create your wordpress.com blogging page for the course. As I mentioned in earlier videos, you are going to be required to create and maintain a blog post, which are going to serve as a space for your writing, uh, more specifically for your reading responses throughout the course of the semester. To get started, you are going to go to wordpress.com. Once you are at wordpress.com, you're going to see the blue button that says start your website or to the right hand side, get started as you see here. Please note that depending on the time that you are watching this video, the website does tend to change pretty frequently. So if you do see some differences between your visiting the website and the actual video itself, that is perfectly normal as, as I said, many of these websites tend to update pretty uh, consistently. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you click on start your website, you're going to be taking to a page that will ask a series of questions. Now, a couple of tips to remember as you are thinking about the name, the kind of email you're going to be using, as well as how you're going to be accessing the website. It's going to ask for your email address. It's going to be important that you use an email address that you have access to. And more specifically, you'll need to be able to verify your account through that email address, okay? Now, once you go there, I'm just going to use a old email that I have just for example purposes. And when you choose a username, um, this is going to be the, the username that you use to log on, not necessarily your blog website. Okay. However, they can be the same should the username be available for you. So I am just going to use my dog's name. And create a password. And then click on create your account. Now, of course, they're going to try to push um, some purchases on you, but you'll want to use the free website. So make sure that you are clicking on start with a free website here. The domain now is going to be what your website is going to be called. Some tips for this particular portion. I don't recommend that you use any identifiable names or traits. For instance, I would not use your first and last name. We all are aware of digital footprints in the digital age where people do like to look us up. And especially if you have a name that is um, somewhat unique in the sense that there are, are, they are not common, such as my name. If one Googles my name, they can find all of my digital footprints on social media. However, if I have created a domain or a website that doesn't necessarily include my name, then there's a good chance that someone will not find it. It is your choice on what you decide, but just consider privacy purposes. So I'm going to try to pick my dog's name again and it looks like it is available. Now you'll notice that uh, here you're going to want the free page. So you'll click on free right here. What now is going to happen is they're going to send you an email and you will need to verify that account. If you don't verify the account, you will not be able to publish the site. It will look like you are, but on my end or anybody who tries to read your blog post will not be able to see it until you verify your account. So let's go ahead and go through that process. Once you're here, your site has been established, but there are still a few extra steps that you'll need to do in order to launch your site officially. So when you see on the left hand side here, free domain with a plan, um, you'll want to go ahead and skip that here for a second. Just click on get started. When you get here, click on launch your site um, and you'll notice that you won't be able to launch your site until you verify your email address. So if you go to your email account here, you should have seen a email that was received. Once you click on that, then you'll simply click on the link in order to verify your account. You will go ahead and 
and click on click here to confirm now and it will open up a new tab now then it takes you back to the site setup and you can jump ahead and click on launch your site and then simply click the button that says launch your site so once again it will try to get you to purchase uh, domain names and once again you can go ahead and skip that purchase you are not required to purchase anything for this course now that you're here yet again you can continue with your free site Now that you've created your site, you will see that it takes you to this particular page here. From here on out, you are encouraged to explore to see what you can kind of play with as far as creating the design of your blog. I will be talking more about design and aesthetic as well as uh, some of the template options that you can choose from in another video, but for now, what I want to highlight is um, a key aspect of what you'll have to do to actually submit your assignment. So on the left hand side here, you'll see where it says uh, view Mila the cool dog wordpress.com, which should say your page. And once you click on that, you'll notice in the upper section here where it actually has the website. This is what I'll be needing for a majority of your assignments and when you turn in assignments. So as an example, you will notice as explained in one of the other videos that you do have a practice assignment. This is going to be your very first one, which is asking you to create an introduction post about yourself. But really what it's designed to do is not only to introduce yourself to your classmates, but also to go through the process of creating a blog post as well as what it looks like when submitting an assignment. So, when you click on the uh, assignment section, I'm gonna take you back to where and how I got through this. This will be done through multiple ways, uh, through the assignment section as well as through the modules, but just to take a quick cheat to directly the assignment, you have the practice assignment here. It will give you a list of things you can talk about in your practice blog post. You are free to actually address whatever you like and, and address and introduce yourself however you like as well, but usually these are some pretty good talking points. When you're ready and after you've created your blog post, again, please be sure to see the other video about creating blogs. You will hit submit assignment and paste your link and submit the assignment and you would be all set. This is going to occur for all of the blog post assignments and um, nothing else needs to be done. So make sure you're always submitting in the Canvas core, core shell. You'll notice that I like to have the blog post tab open as well as my Canvas tab open. And it's also encouraged to, if you have access to a desktop or a laptop computer, as I am working on one right now, it just makes the process a lot easier. Although you can use your phone, it just takes a little bit more effort and it is entirely up to you but as long as I have the blog links and the blog posts then you should be okay. If you have any questions about developing and creating your blog post this again video is only focusing on how to actually establish the initial blog post. In another video on how to design your blog post and some strategies on how you might approach actually writing your blog post um, will be available for you as well. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me and I will help you out as best as I can.